What is up everyone? My name is Jonathan. Today we are making this and thank you for joining me. Without further ado, we're going to jump right in. This is just a 1280 by 720 document here in Adobe Illustrator. And today, since we are making the number three, we are going to start by adding a number three to our artboard here. I am just using a Gotham bold font. Just going to center this up for now, just because. And once we have created our letter, we want to select it by hitting V on our keyboard or using our selection tool, right click, create outlines, or you can hit control shift O or shift control O. And once you have created outlines, this is no longer editable text. So you cannot go back and change what this is. It is a three unless you like delete it. Don't do that. All right, so now we're gonna grab our pen tool. We're gonna deselect that. Grab our pen tool by hitting P on our keyboard. We're gonna grab like uh, this blue color or something just so we can see where our lines are because it's super hard to see if, uh, if you use black on black. So we're gonna go here and then we're going to go up here about, just do something kind of like that. And then we want this to just be a stroke. So we just swap these around right here. Uh, so we're gonna do a line there. And then I think I want to do kind of like a line off of here that maybe down to here. So we'll do somewhere's about here and then something kind of like so. We're going to move this. Grab your selection tool, move this over. Somewhere's about like so. I'll zoom in here. I kind of want it to just go right about there, I think. We'll see what that looks like. And then we're going to grab our pen tool by hitting control zero on your number pad. It uh, just resets this, puts it, fills the artboard or fits, fits the artboard in your working space. <coughs> and now we grab our pen tool one more time. If it's ever on this X like this, uh, you can just hit con your caps lock key. It means your caps lock is on. You're welcome. I had to Google that the other day. I was like, how the heck did I do this? And we're going to change this uh, somewhere about like so, something like that. Hit escape to get out of the pen tool. I'm not sure I like this one in the middle. Not sure how or what I want to do here. Um, it just seems funny. You know what I mean? Just seems funny. So we're going to delete this. I'm going to start over here. And I'm going to do probably just something more like here to here nope don't like that either here no we'll we'll cut that in we'll cut that we'll cut it we'll just do like what we had maybe it's just not so sharp so it's kind of like so actually no, this needs to go above that there we go move this over so it's about like so all right now we're good we're good to go now all right, so now we can select all of these. Go over to your Pathfinder tool. It is right here for me. It might be over here in one of these panels. If it is not, go to Windows, go down to Pathfinder, or you can hit Shift Control F9. And then we are going to hit the Divide button. And so now what we do is right click. So click on your object, right click, ungroup. And now you should have a bunch of individual pieces. We don't want them to be individual pieces. Actually, I lied. We are not going to do divide yet. So if you haven't done that yet, perfect. We're going to make a copy of all of these strokes. I always forget to do this. We're just going to drag these strokes over so we have them for in a minute. Now we're going to select all these, divide, right click, ungroup. Okay, because now we can grab these, put them back where they were. About like so. Okay, so once you have the objects divided, now we need to choose our colors. And I'm just going to use something very, very bright. Uh, let's do this blue color here. So we'll change this to black. And we'll grab this blue. Yeah, we'll do that blue. Oops, didn't click on the item. We'll drag this the other way something like so and this one is going to be the same thing as well gradient something like that 
Same thing here. Something like so. And this one, same thing. So this gradient is going to go this way. All right, that's looking better. Now we need to change or add, actually, I'm gonna change this one. This one looks funny, in my opinion. Do something like that. And now we need to do something with our strokes here. Grab all of these strokes and we're going to apply, oops, we're going to apply the same color gradient, but we want this to be this blue. So we want another one of those. And then this one is actually going to be white. Drag this over. So it'll look kind of like so. And what we need to do, we need to trim this off though, so we can just hit C on our keyboard. Cut that there. Delete this. Same thing with this one. Cut that there. Delete that. Same thing with this one. So now I'm just going to cut all of these pieces. Okay, now that those are all cut, I'm going to edit this here stroke, and we're going to make this stroke uh, can I edit all these strokes at the same time? I don't think I've ever tried that. We're going to edit all these strokes. Make them all probably seven. Looks good. Change this to this one. <coughs> That's looking mucho good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this piece. Click and drag, hold alt to drag this over. And now I'm going to change this so it is, I'm going to add a stroke and this stroke is going to be pretty large, probably about like so. 40 looks good. And now I'm going to, uh, you have this selected, go over to object, click expand, fill and stroke, right click or click okay. Right click, ungroup, and now hit A for your direct selection tool. And now you should be able to select that. Uh, actually select all of this, I lied. One step, now go to divide. Now hit A on your keyboard and you should be able to select just that piece out of the middle. And we are going to make this piece white so we can see it. We're gonna do something like that, probably there or so. But we're going to make this a gradient so we can just make this any gradient, it doesn't matter because we're going to change this into white and we're gonna change this down to like 50 and then change this one to zero. Now we're going to edit this gradient so we have the, sh the shine from the side that we want. So I do something like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this piece. We're just gonna have that right there. So we can delete all of this stuff. Oh, I guess we gotta ungroup it. So that way we can delete just this. And we're going to click on here, hold Alt, drag this over. It helps if you hold Shift, that way it's perfectly aligned. And then when you move it back, you just hold Shift and move it back over. And we are going to do the same thing as we did for that one. We're going to add a stroke, probably 40, wouldn't be surprised. Might do 60, just make it a little thinner. And then go to object, expand, fill and stroke, click okay. Right click, whoops, nope, go to divide. Now go to right click, ungroup, hit A on your keyboard, bring up your direct selection tool. And this is actually gonna work out perfect because we just want this piece right here. And then we can grab our selection tool and delete all of this stuff. All this mess right here. Make sure we got it all, grab this piece. And now we're just gonna hit I on our keyboard and then select that piece right there. And that gives us our gradient that we already had. And that's a pretty subtle, uh, 
nice looking. We might need to make this a little brighter because it is such a bright color that we're working with to begin with. But I do like the way that that looks. I might change the gradient some so it's kind of not such a harsh edge up on the top. That looks a lot better. Just a little bit more, I think. We're going to make this more angled down. Like so. There we go. That looks much better. Okay, so let's bring this one up just a little bit as well because it is a pretty bright color on a bright color. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create our background layer. And by doing this, we're just going to hit M on our keyboard and we're just going to make this black. Make sure you are on a new layer. Did that by going down here and clicking on the new layer button. And then once you're up here to move your mouse up to where it says intersect, click and drag this down over here. So it is like so. <clears throat> and now we're going to do one more thing. We're just going to lock this back layer for now because we don't need to move it. And that way it doesn't get confusing. And we are going to make sure we're on this layer. We're going to grab our ellipse tool. You can do that by clicking and holding and selecting the ellipse tool, or you can hit L on your keyboard. And we are going to grab a gradient. We're just going to do a black and white. It is going to be a radial gradient. And we're just going to click and click this out. So it is something like probably pretty small, something like so. And we're going to hit G on our keyboard and edit this gradient. We want to move our mouse around until we have this circle here. And then we're just going to click and drag this in. And then we're going to click and drag this out. So it's kind of something like so. And this is actually probably going to be a little too big. So we're going to drag this down a little bit. And we're going to move this over on top of here. And this is going to be like a like it's glowing right there. Go over to your opacity and you can get to it. It might be up here on your toolbar up here, or you can go over to your transparency panel and it will be here as well. And we're just going to go down to color dodge and this kind of gives it a little bit of a glowing effect. Use your keys on your keyboard to move it around to get it right where you want it to go. It gives a nice little shine. And we're going to click and hold alt on that and drag that down onto this one. Rotate that around. Bring this all the way to the front. If it is not, click and drag this down. Drag this over here. Rotate this around. Click and drag right. Probably right about there. We're going to make this one just a tiny, tiny bit bigger. There we go, looking good, looking nice. So we're gonna do one more thing and that is add a, we're just going to add a nice little glow below it. So by doing that, we're just gonna grab our ellipse tool, radial gradient, but we're going to change these colors to here and same thing with this one. Oops. Same thing, but we're just gonna lower the opacity on one of them and then center it up. Oops, don't hold shift or it does something crazy. So probably something like so. We need to swap this gradient around and click on click G on your keyboard to bring up your gradient again. We're gonna drag this down so it fits nicely inside here. We're actually going to <coughs> make, <coughs> make this zero so it really fades out. Hit G on your keyboard. So now we have a nice uh, drop glow for a lack of a better term. And we're going to lock that in place by clicking on it and hitting control two. And we're going to select this whole thing. We're going to right click. We're going to group this together. That way it is all one piece and super easy to move around. And after you group it together, we're going to right click, go to transform, and we're going to click reflect. We are going to reflect this horizontally, and then we want a copy of it. And now we are going to click and hold shift and drag this down. So you have a perfect reflection of this obviously this doesn't look normal so we're going to do one more step and that is by creating another rectangle we're going to click and drag over this this just needs to be black and once you do that we are going to actually add a 
uh, we need to add a radial gradial a radial gradient in here. So just grab the stock, uh, just grab the stock white and black here. Make sure this is truly black. We're going to edit the gradi gradient. Ooh, I can't talk all of a sudden. And we're going to start up here about like so. Maybe drag this back a little bit. And then hit V on your keyboard. We're going to select both of the three in this box. And this is why it was important to make sure you grouped these together because it would be, sometimes it can be hard to select everything because you'd have to select all this. You want to make sure that all this is selected because we're going to go over here to our transparency panel and we're going to click make mask. Okay, and once you have clicked create mask, if that works for you, this should be a nice looking reflection. You can make this a little softer if you want. Uh, it is a little hard, but that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, make sure to leave a comment down below. If you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, and we will see you in the next video.